So it's the next morning and we may have a little bit of an issue. I thought the Big Sur Marathon was yesterday. It's this morning and they have the road closed down. So we, <laughs> we might be stranded here for, until they're done. I'm going to go out and ask them. But this is pretty weird. Well, the first stop to any road trip, getting gas. When you're getting the gas mileage that this little beast does, you stop off often. And Big Sur, I hear, is quite expensive right now. So the best thing to do is fill up when it's relatively cheap. Just did a check on the back of the camper and you know what? Nothing moved around. Everything is still in one piece. That's a good sign. Uh, not everything I bolted down. I kind of jammed it in there to make sure it was fitting. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. But so far, I mean, other than the rain, couldn't ask for a better first drive. Absolutely. It, it's smooth. It's just way more comfortable than you ever expect out of a big behemoth like that. So we're going to grab dinner. Head to a little spot by a, a lake that's not too far away. Set up camp for the night and we'll move on down and head to Big Sur tomorrow. Okay, so the spot that I was gonna go to, apparently that road is completely so no longer looking for a view over the lake. Um, ended up on a dirt road, and I've had this Jeep following me for a while, just let them pass. But I have zero idea where this goes. I haven't had service for a while. So we're just gonna keep on taking it and see if we end up at a nice little spot. Well, uh, that is a dead end, and there's no place for me to make a U-turn. So I'm kind of screwed. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Okay. I just made that U-turn. Thank God that this truck has good four-wheel drive because that that was not easy. Um, I was at a good angle, and now we're heading back the way we came. Still want to find somewhere to eat because that stuff is now getting cold. Kalua looks a little bit panicked, but um, apparently that's a dead end. So let's keep on trucking. Every other plan turned out to be a dead right now, and all roads that I know are closed down. So. I'm just parked on the side of Highway 1 with an ocean view. And I'm gonna make this make this camp for night one. Um, just had a little bit of tacos uh, because I'm getting cold and uh, I think it's about time to go take Kalua for a walk and let her kind of stretch her legs a bit. Oh, oh well, let, let's get some lights. There we go. So we're all tucked in out by the ocean. We got Highway 1 on this side, so it's time to go incognito mode. Watch out, most of 
what's that noise? And on this side, let's go ahead and get a little. Ooh. Now we can hear that ocean. Wonderful. Okay. Clues all tucked in. It's time to eat a little bit of carrot cake. Maybe watch a little TV and writing. So while I'm back here, obviously that light works, that light works, that light works. This one doesn't. So I just got some spares, LEDs versus these. Yeah. This is what these guys look like. Hopefully this goes ahead and, and works. I'm guessing this is going to be far cold. in there, put it all up, probably change out all of them to the LEDs now. Actually, I don't think I will, that is so incredibly bright. Okay, well, yay to fixing stuff. These blue ones have never worked either. I just switch out one of those. I'm gonna flip this switch right here, but let's see how that looks. Oh, oh, that's bitchin'. That is a party vibe. What? Okay. That is definitely the route that I'm going on now. At nighttime. Okay. That blue accent. So many feet. Woohoo. It was raining like crazy last night. But wearing the same shirt. You can wear the same shirt twice in a row. Now. We're a little bit south of Cambria, head up north in the Big Sur, make our way from there. Boom. Before we can get started in the day, it's time for Kalua's favorite game, Rock. She doesn't get that, she complains. Kalua. Oh yeah. You know, she's a rock out, what can I say? Well, now that we're stopped and rested by the ocean, and the next thing to talk about is, you know, what is Stax? You might be wondering to yourself, what the hell is this guy driving? The thing's a freaking dinosaur. Well, it is. It's a 1995 Stewart Stevenson M1079. Now these 
were the van bodies used for telecommunications, troop carrying, all that good stuff. So there's outlets, lights, bone plugs inside. 6.6 liter Caterpillar, so every tractor in the 90s had this engine all around the world at an Allison 7 speed. Basically brand new, 2,000 miles when I bought it. So, I mean, to travel the world, I think this is gonna be about the perfect expedition overland rig that you can ask for. All time four wheel drive, awful gas mileage, gigantic tires, but drive smooth and it's only a little bit loud. But it gets us to places like this with no issue. Might be expensive in California, but that's gas to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead, walk Kahlua, enjoy the ocean. But I thought you guys wanted a little bit of information on you know, what this thing is, what I'm gonna be doing with it, and where I am now. Let's get back at it.
is absolutely amazing over here. The perfect place to end a night. Then go to our camp spot and enjoy. Definitely want to be back here for sunrise though, because this is going to be incredible. While that's going on, I think it's time to light myself an incense, grab a book, lay down and relax. Well, we got ourselves a nice bowl of Silverado beef for tonight. You know, after a long day of hiking and off-roading, I don't want to cook a nice meal. But this bowl of chili is exactly what I'm looking for. Woo! It's a little cold outside, so I'm going to look through the window. Ooh, but sunset's coming up. You know what that means. Colors galore. Well, with chili done and sunset on its way, it's time to enjoy ourselves. Be outside in nature, not cooped up inside the little van. So here's to you. Enjoy some meals today. I thought the Big Sur Marathon was yesterday. It's this morning and they have the road closed down. So, we, <laughs> we might be stranded here for, until they're done. I'm gonna go out and ask them, but this is pretty freaking comical. So, uh, time to hop down and see what's going on. Yep parked in the middle of a marathon race. So I'm just chilling being their number one supporter. Honestly, this is the most comical way that a Sunday could have gone. Planning to get out early in the morning only to see runners as I open the door. But the view, it's not half bad. Uh, big smiles for the rest of the day. I gotta cheer them on. Okay, well that's a good sign. It looks like they do have a motorcade that comes through every once in a while to bring traffic. So I'm not just stuck here for the next four or five hours. See, we're learning good things already. <laughs> nice, nice form. Did you finish that? I did. Are you from Montana? I am not. <laughs> I just look like a mountain man. I have no idea how many people are in this, how much longer it's gonna go, but they all get a cheer. Join me in saying hello. Woo! We got the walking stick gang. His name is Stegs. Eh, kind of. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Are you just having a biscuit point here? Basically, I'm just having fun. I ran it earlier this morning, I had to check the course, and I'm just relaxing the thighs. But I have no idea if they're at the beginning, the end, nothing. So when I say you're halfway there, either that's helpful or really bad to some of these people. Either way, they seem happy to have a cheer squad going on. So we're going to continue this for maybe a couple more hours and go from there. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Now the convoy's heading down south. 
So, just gotta wait for them to make a U-turn. We can get out of here. Woo! Land ho! I made it! Back in the car, just passing drivers. Oh, absolutely fantastic cheering all these people on this morning. Now, hopefully I'll get to see some of the friends that I made along the way. Uh, that was so cool. I didn't know that they had this. Well, up there I see another RV. So that might be another person that got stuck this morning. out the under, other window, look at all the friends you made as well. So now it's time to get some gas and make our way to Memorial Camp. It's gonna be a good one. More gas. Okay, we're basically an empty. So I only made it through uh, Big Sur, which is way less than I was anticipating. But you know, with those hills, it's kind of a slow journey anyways. Gas isn't terrible up here, which is nice. I mean, it's a dollar cheaper than 15 miles down the road. So right now we gotta figure out where to go next, what to do. Um, if we're gonna stay out on the road right now or finish testing, go back and install some of the parts. Cause those airbags, they are blown, air is leaking out. So I have those on arrival, I think for tomorrow or Tuesday, and hopefully the ride, it gets even better. But so far, I'm in this big live stags, but I was pretty freaking smooth. We got ourselves a little bit of a conundrum right now. So there's a slot in the door and that's what channels the locks to open and close. Uh, and there's a broom back there. The broom fell over and got stuck in that channel. So I can't get inside the back. If I look in a little bit, you can barely see it, but that little piece, that's the broom that's currently stuck. Um, so I think I'm gonna need to use massive amounts of strength and just kind of rip this thing open. But it's hard when it's so far up in the air. So this is actually gonna be a pretty good little challenge. We'll see if I'm actually able to get back inside this truck. Who knew that a broom is gonna be the best defense from intruders and owners? Okay, let's do this. So it has to be done on my way back home. It's gonna be about four hours by highway. Uh, we just went through a whole bunch of farmland, but it, it, it looks like I'm gonna have to make a sawzall, cut that broom in half in order to get back inside the truck, which, you know what, it is what it is. But learned a valuable lesson about where I gotta keep some items in the back to make sure that I can actually use the RV like an RV. So, whatever. Um, made it through Big Sur, didn't get to do everything I wanted to do, but that is, that, that's life right now. Uh, it'll be good to get it home, get it cleaned up, and uh, start thinking about what I actually need back there. We'll do a little bit of a breakdown of the essentials, where I'm thinking about putting them, and then we'll start taping off and, and, and getting it to its final version. It's going to be an exciting next couple months. Stay tuned. So, 
time to go take care of that demonic room. This is why cleaning is never good. This demonic little room. But now it's open. So, trip completed. Only one unopened door. Only one broken. Okay, thank you. And there we go. The trip's completed. We only had a couple issues today, but other than that, it was a pretty big success. You know, testing number one out of the way I know a couple more things that I need so first off you don't put the room next to the door because I still need to get back there if I'm gonna want to live in it okay well if you had fun coming along today you know do what you do like subscribe comment all that good stuff and join me on the journey I'm just having a good time living life well it was good working with you guys deuces papooses Exhale and breathe, I pray out for some patience Proceed, I think I might, I think I might